We're now in the year of the solar max, or so we're told. It hasn't really been erupting hardcore yet, but this article from space.com is leading us to believe that it will be waking up, saying it should roar back to life sometime this year. Second peak activity in the last two years. Talking about how it's been quiet. This lull is likely a trough between two peaks that together constitute solar maximum. Talking about if you look back in history, many of the previous cycles don't have one hump, but in fact have two. And they have a little video up here. And we'll go ahead and play it for us. Dare to whisper, whisper. New color whisper lip color from Maybelline, New York. Now, sexy sheer color with a whisper soft feel. The secret. Pure sheer pigments in a smooth light gel. No heavy waxes, no heavy oils. Just a soft kiss of color and shine. New color whisper from Maybelline, New York. Sexy sheer color with a whisper soft feel. Maybe she's born with a. Maybe it's Maybelline. Solar cycle update. Solar max could be double peaked. Presented by Science at NASA. Something unexpected is happening on the sun. 2013 is supposed to be the year of solar max, the peak of the 11-year sunspot cycle. Yet, 2013 has arrived and solar activity is relatively low. Sunspot numbers are well below their values in 2011 and strong solar flares have been infrequent for many months. The quiet has led some observers to wonder if forecasters missed the mark. Solar physicist Dean Pesnell of the Goddard Space Flight Center has a different explanation. This is solar maximum, he suggests, but it looks different from what we expected because it is double peaked. Conventional wisdom holds that solar activity swings back and forth like a simple pendulum. At one end of the cycle, there is a quiet time with few sunspots and flares. At the other end, solar max brings high sunspot numbers and solar storms. It's a regular rhythm that repeats every 11 years. Reality, however, is more complicated. Astronomers have been counting sunspots for centuries, and they have seen that the solar cycle is not perfectly regular. For one thing, the back and forth swing in sunspot counts can take anywhere from 10 to 13 years to complete. Also, the amplitude of the cycle varies. Some solar maxima are very weak, others very strong. Pesnell notes yet another complication. The last two solar maxima around 1989 and 2001 had not one, but two peaks. Solar activity went up, dipped, then resumed, performing a mini cycle that lasted about two years. The same thing could be happening now. Sunspot counts jumped in 2011, dipped in 2012, and Pesnell expects them to rebound again in 2013. I am comfortable in saying that another peak will happen in 2013 and possibly last into 2014, he predicts. Another curiosity of the solar cycle is that the sun's hemispheres do not always peak at the same time. In the current cycle, the south has been lagging behind the north. The second peak, if it occurs, will likely feature the southern hemisphere playing catch-up with a surge in activity south of the sun's equator. Pesnell is a leading member of the NOAA NASA Solar Cycle Prediction Panel, a blue ribbon group of solar physicists who assembled in 2006 and 2008 to forecast the next solar mass. 
At the time, the sun was experiencing its deepest minimum in nearly a hundred years. Sunspot numbers were pegged near zero, and X-ray flare activity flatlined for months at a time. Recognizing that deep minima are often followed by weak maxima, and pulling together many other threads of predictive evidence, the panel issued this statement. The Solar Cycle 24 prediction panel has reached a consensus. The panel has decided that the next solar cycle, cycle 24, will be below average in intensity, with a maximum sunspot number of 90. Given the date of solar minimum and the predicted maximum intensity, solar maximum is now expected to occur in May 2013. Note, this is not a unanimous decision, but a supermajority of the panel did agree. Given the tepid state of solar activity in February 2013, a maximum in May now seems unlikely. We may be seeing what happens when you predict a single amplitude and the sun responds with a double peak, comments Pesnell. Incidentally, Pesnell notes a striking similarity between Solar Cycle 24, underway now, and Solar Cycle 14, which had a double peak during the first decade of the 20th century. If the two cycles are in fact twins, it would mean one peak in late 2013 and another in 2015. No one knows for sure what the sun will do next. It seems likely, though, that the end of 2013 could be a lot livelier than the beginning. For more news about the progress of the solar cycle, stay tuned to science.nasa.gov. Well, we'll just have to see what our big orb does. It might wake up, it probably will. You know what that means, CMEs, interferences, penetrating the planet, penetrating your body with all the rays and stuff. And if it's a big enough one, power outages, which we've seen some power outages, but they didn't say it was from that whenever it happened. But if it's big enough, you could damage or knock out our infrastructure, power supply. We're coming into May, they mentioned May. Then they back down and mention towards the end of the year. But we just have to live our lives and deal with what comes. The year of solar max is now. We'll see if we get it. <laughs>